Hey team, what is up? Welcome back on my channel. Today with a different kind of video, we are not going to do a workout today. We are here in my kitchen and we are doing some cooking today. I want to show you what I eat in a day to have enough energy for all our strong HIIT workouts and I really really hope you like that kind of video. If so, make sure to give this video a thumb up and click on the subscribe button for lots of workout videos and maybe in future more what I eat in a day and recipe videos. Because I know some of you are struggling right now with diet and nutrition, I made a free 7 day meal plan and you can find the link to the PDF down in the description box. In the meal plan you will find some of my favorite grow recipes and you will also find some information about my diet, yeah just what I eat every single day. I do track my calories and macros because I want to make sure that I'm not eating too much but I also want to make sure that I'm not eating not enough because for all our workouts we definitely need enough food and the right food. I try to eat as much as possible natural unprocessed food what means lots of vegetables, fruits, nuts, seeds, meat, fish, eggs but I also add lots of typical vegan options to my diet, for example tofu. Right now I eat 2000 calories every single day, 40% carbs, 30% fat and 30% protein and I track all my food with the app MyFitnessPal. Alright, so that was it with the intro today, I wish you lots of fun with this video, with all the recipes, don't forget to check out the free PDF plan down in the description box and I really hope it will help you a lot during this crazy time. So here's my what I eat in a day, let's go! So for my first meal I love my baked oatmeal. All you need is 30 grams of oats, 30 grams of vegan protein powder and 20 grams of coconut flour. I'm using instant oats, the coconut flour and vegan protein to get a really really nice cookie dough texture. Then I add some hot water, I mix all the ingredients, then I add one egg and then I mix again all the ingredients and last but not least it's ready for the oven so I bake the whole oat mix for 20 to 25 minutes. It's all about the toppings, you can add whatever you want. I love to add some fresh fruits or dried fruits. Today I'm using pomegranate for a little crunch. I also add dark chocolate every single day because it tastes just so good. <laughs> but you can add whatever you want, a little bit of chocolate nut butter. Instead of nut butter I also love tahini. Make sure to give this one a try. A tablespoon of tahini. Honestly it tastes so 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 good. The whole oatmeal, of course it depends on your toppings, has around 450 to 550 calories. Get ready for my second meal and my second recipe and this recipe is just crazy. We're gonna make my absolute favorite high in protein tuna balls. All you need, two eggs, 130 to 150 grams of tuna. Then we mix those ingredients in a bowl and then we're gonna add 30 grams of chickpea flour. Now comes the fun part, we are forming our tuna balls, just form small or a little bit bigger balls, just how you want. So when you are done with forming all the tuna balls, it's time for baking and unfortunately I don't have baking paper at home, so I'm using this pen, I just place all the tuna balls on the pan and then it's time for baking. Of course you can use just a simple baking paper as well. I also found some leftover butternut squash so I decided to cut the butternut squash into small pieces and then I added them into the oven. 
Now I'm using my favorite kitchen tool, it's my spiralizer. You can make so many great things with a spiralizer. For example, zoodles. So this is what I'm doing right now, tahini noodles. And then I'm doing the same with carrots. I'm eating the spiralized veggies raw, but of course you can bake or cook them if you prefer them cooked. All my meals, all my plates, all my recipes, they are so colorful because I tell myself every single day I eat the rainbow and this is definitely what I recommend. Yeah, just eat the rainbow because it makes happy and healthy. Now I'm adding the tuna balls. They are done after 20 to 25 minutes. And on the right side, you can see my avocado dip. This is just 50 gram of avocado with some lemon juice, some salt, pepper, and garlic. This meal is really, really low in carbs and really, really high in protein. We have some healthy fats with the avocado dip. And if you need some more carbs, because you wanna use this meal as a pre-workout, for example, or a post-workout meal, then you can add some carbs. You can add some more butternut squash, sweet potato, quinoa, or rice. Get ready for my meal number three. This is my dinner and most of the time my post-workout meal. So this is what I eat after my workout. I have some Brussels sprouts and lots of other vegetables. Most of the time I just check out what's in my fridge. Then I cut all the vegetables into small pieces. Then I add some olive oil. Olive oil is really, really healthy. Make sure to add olive oil or any other healthy oil into your diet. Then I use some salt and pepper and lots of other herbs and spices, whatever I have at home. Then I mix everything. Then I put all my veggies into my pan because it's time to cook or grill them. As you can see, my meals are really, really easy to make. I just cut most of the time my veggies and then I add some healthy fats, some healthy carbs and something high in protein. Now I have some tofu, a vegan option, which is really, really high in protein. And it tastes really, really good if you are using the right herbs and spices and if you grill them. Let's give it a try. It tastes really, really good. So this meal would be a little bit boring without dips. I have some tomato sauce and mustard here, but you can use any dip you want. Just make sure if you buy a dip or a sauce that there is no sugar in it. Before I go to bed, I always need something sweet. So I make my good night bowl. Today I make my peanut butter jelly bowl. For the peanut butter, I mix a tablespoon of peanut butter with some coconut milk to get a smooth texture. Then I add the peanut butter to my oats. The oats is the same like I had in the morning, 30 grams oats, 30 grams vegan protein powder and 20 grams of coconut flour. I add the peanut butter to my oats and then I add my strawberry jelly to my oats. This is just frozen strawberries. Just cooked the frozen strawberries for like three or four minutes and then I just add them to my oats without any sugar. You can add some sweetener if you need some sweetener, but I think the strawberries are sweet enough. So that was my full day of eating. This is exactly what I eat every single day to have enough energy for all our strong, strong strength and HIIT workouts. I really hope you enjoyed that kind of video. I really hope you enjoyed the recipes. Make sure to give them a try. If you need a little bit more inspiration, then make sure to check out my Instagram stories because I share brand new recipe ideas every single day. Don't forget to check out the free seven day meal plan down in the description box. I'm sure it will help you a lot. And yeah, that was it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you hopefully tomorrow. Tomorrow is Monster Monday. So we are doing a Monster Monday hit workout. I'm really excited to see you on the mat. So see you tomorrow. Bye.